All right, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Justin Brown from the Epic House Amazing episode of the Unboxing Authority Library BitChute YouTube channel, and I'm on Twitch under Messianic Tor Observant. That's my Twitch channel right now. If you want to see a live stream going on there, and uh, I got uh, I got Messianic music and scriptures and chickens and all kinds of things going on there. So go check it out. So today, I believe I'm being instructed to read. Uh, from Ezekiel chapter 13 and I can try to tell you how that uh, is relevant today so let's do that okay and the word of Yahweh came unto me saying son of man prophesy against the prophets of Israel that prophesy and say thou unto them that prophesy out of their own hearts hear ye the word of Yahweh thus saith my sovereign Yahweh woe unto the foolish prophets that follow their own spirit, and have seen nothing. O Israel, thy prophets are like foxes in the deserts. Ye have not gone up into the gaps, neither made up the hedge for the house of Israel to stand in the battle in the day of Yahweh, in the day of the Lord, in the day of Yahweh. Uh, they have seen vanity and lying divination, saying Yahweh saith, and Yahweh hath not sent them, and they have made others to hope that they would confirm the word have ye not seen a vain vision and have ye not spoken lying divination whereas ye say Yahweh saith it albeit I have not spoken therefore thus saith my sovereign Yahweh because ye have spoken vanity and seen lies therefore behold I am against you saith my sovereign Yahweh and mine hand shall be upon the prophets that see vanity and that divine lies, and they shall not be in the assembly of my people, neither shall they be written in the writing of the house of Israel, neither shall they enter into the land of Israel. And ye shall know that I am the sovereign Yahweh, because even uh, because they have seduced my people, saying, Peace, and there was no peace. And one built up a wall, and lo, others daubed it with untempered mortar, say unto them, which daub with the untempered mortar, that it shall fall, there shall be an overflowing shower, and ye, O great hailstones, um, shall fall, and a stormy wind shall rend it. Lo, when the wall is fallen, shall it not be said unto you, Where is the daubing wherein ye have daubed it? Therefore thus saith the sovereign Yahweh, my sovereign Yahweh, I will even rend it with a stormy wind in my fury, and there shall be an overflowing shower in mine anger, and a great hailstones in my fury to consume it. So will I break down the wall that ye have dubbed with untempered mortar, and bring it down to the ground, so that the foundation thereof shall be discovered, and it shall fall, and ye shall be consumed in the midst thereof, and ye shall know that I am Yahweh. Thus will I accomplish my wrath upon the wall, and upon uh, them that have daubed it with untempered mortar, and will say unto you, The wall is no more, neither they that daubed it. <coughs> to wit, the prophets of Israel, which prophesy concerning Jerusalem, Jerusalem, and which see visions of peace for her, and there is no peace, saith my sovereign Yahweh. Likewise, thou son of man, set thy face against the daughters of thy people, which prophesy out of their own heart, and prophesy thou against them. And say thus, my sovereign Yahweh, Woe to the woman that sue pillows to all armholes, and make kerchiefs upon the head of every stature, or statue, uh, to hunt souls. Uh, will ye hunt the souls of my people, and will ye save the souls alive that come unto you? I think that word stature, uh, 6967 is statue. I have to look that up. And will ye pollute me among my people for handfuls of barley and for pieces of bread to slay the souls that should not die and to save the souls alive that should not live by lying to my people that hear your lies? Wherefore thus saith my sovereign Yahweh, Behold, I am against your pillows therewith ye there hunt the souls to make them fly. And I will tear them from your arms and will let the souls go, even the souls that ye hunt to make them fly. Your kerchiefs also will I tear and deliver my people out of your hand, and they shall be no more in your hand to be hunted, and ye shall know that I am Yahweh, because with lies ye have made the heart of the righteous sad, whom I have 
not made sad, and strengthened the hands of the wicked that he should not return from his wicked way by promising him life, Therefore ye shall see no more vanity nor divine divinations, for I will deliver my people out of your hand, and ye shall know that I am Yahweh. So, why is this word relevant to us today? Well, one of the things it talks about here is daubing walls with untempered mortar and false prophets that are saying they are hearing things from Yahweh or seeing things, and they are not. And so there's two things here. Uh, first of all, we have uh, there's a politician in office. I'm going to say we have one, but there's a politician in office who just got done telling people that Genesis 3 um, says something that it does not say, that it protects evil and says that everyone is created um, in the sight of, of Yahweh as good, even if they're doing evil. And um, that is false. There are many false prophets out there that are prophesying prosperity and peace to everyone and that everything's going to be great and fine, and you do not have to repent and obey the law, the Torah, um, the Bible, the New and Old Testament. You don't have to live by every word that precedes the mouth of Yahweh. Now, I will tell you, I just did a Facebook post and a Torah network post um, showing that in Deuteronomy, I, I might have been Deuteronomy chapter 3 or 4, I don't have to go back and look. Um, that's where it is written in the New Testament, it's Matthew 4.4. 4. In the Old Testament is written that men shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that precedes them at the Yahweh. And Yeshua HaMashiach said the same thing when he confronted Lucifer. And today, Lucifer is speaking through lots of people that say that we no longer have to live by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of Yahweh. And Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus the Christ, Jesus the Messiah, said that we do have to live by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of Yahweh. So, um, that's the lie. And they're saying there'll be peace. Um, you see, the government is was created with untempered untempered uh, mortar. It was created with the laws and the commandments of man. And um, Yeshua HaMashiach said uh, in the New Testament in, in that in vain do they worship me because they uh, teach the doctrines and commandments of men. They follow the doctrines and commandments of men. And that's what the United States is built on is the doctrines and and commandments of men. It's built on British common law, Magna Carta, uh, Roman law, the Republic of Rome, and all these man-made things. It has a freedom of religion that protects um, all religions, including the witches that the colonists put to death. Would the, did the colonists actually intend to protect witchcraft when they put the witches to death? That's a good question. Well, anyways, thanks so much for watching this video. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. May Yeshua HaMashiach bless you. And uh, if you want to, uh, please pray with me and accept salvation today. We pray, um, Yahweh our Av, our Father, we pray and we thank you. Uh, we ask you for uh, salvation in Yeshua HaMashiach by the blood of the Lamb shed on the cross. And we confess we are sinners that we have sinned against you. And that we've broken your laws and your rules. And we confess that you, uh, Yeshua HaMashiach, are Yahweh. And that we, we confess our sins to you. And we ask you to forgive us of our trespasses. And deliver us from evil. And we ask you to bless us with your Holy Spirit. With salvation, baptism, communion, forgiveness. And all good things. And that as a good father, as a good Av. That you'd train us up in the way we should go. That we would not depart or turn to the left or the right but that we would follow you and your word in spirit and truth only by every word that proceeds from mouth of Yahweh and Yeshua HaMashiach and that you are Yahweh. And uh, we thank you for these things in Yeshua HaMashiach's my name. We pray that we would uh, be guarded on the left and the right, that we would not turn to the left or the right, but you put guardrails around us to keep us on the narrow path so we would not depart and turn to evil. Okay? And uh, we thank you for that. We thank you to go to heaven and receive all good things. And uh, we thank you, you put into wickedness and those who will not turn back to you and conform to your word. But we pray that they would, um, that everyone would, and even our enemies in spirit and truth, they turn back to you and receive uh, your instructions and your law and salvation and baptism and, and communion and your Holy Spirit and all good things and turn back to their whole heart, soul, soul, mind, and strength. We thank you that you set us apart from the wicked and you put us in a new nation. We read here in Ezekiel 13 that the wicked... Um, shall not be able to cross, shall not be able to be in Israel. Then I should be able to enter the land. Um, let's see, where am I at here? They will not be able to enter the land um, of Israel. And they will not be able to go to the promised land, wherever that is for us. 
we depart from evil and and do good um, that there will be no peace for the wicked so we want everybody to, to end up uh, departing from wickedness in Babylon and Egypt and Rome and come out from that and go into a promised land flowing with milk and honey a wonderful place that you have prepared for us and even to heaven uh, which is also a promised land and we thank you for that in Shema Sheikh's name. We want people to be set apart and holy unto you so that you can uh, set them free from the systems of man and that they would not choose the systems of man. They would not choose uh, the ways of man that are undo undobbed, untempered mortar um, that have been set up uh, there was a lie from the beginning that comes from Lucifer. We, we don't want that. We want what you choose for us. And we make you our king, our lawgiver, and our judge, so you can save us, as it says in Isaiah 33:22. So we thank you and praise you for that. We thank you for every way you do speak to us, unlike the false prophets. We, we thank you for every way you do speak to us through signs and visions and miracles and wonders in your word and your will and your way and all good things. And we pray we would all live and follow you in spirit and in truth and not turn to the left or the right. We pray this for all people and all their children, and children's children in every generation. And we pray, we thank you for all good things. Um, Av Yahweh, uh, Yahweh our Av, who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your Kadosh, 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 your holy, 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 your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. And I would also like to point out that if there's any background music that's heard in this video, it's from the uh, the chicken live stream that you can find um, on my YouTube channel, although it does get censored on my YouTube channel, or you can listen to it on the Twitch, the Messianic Tor Observant Twitch channel. Um, and I don't know if I have a link to that in the description. The music comes from two places right now. It comes from technoax.com uh, and ianmichaelsmusic.com where you can buy uh, the music if you go forward slash store he has a concert i think it might be tomorrow it's on the 14th on the 14th he has a online online concert that you can check out so check all that out in the description and at his website and everything else so thank you and shabbat shalom bye we're the guardians of the right and true and the keepers of the flame the custodians of the sacred rules and the masters of the game. We're the only ones who understand everything the prophets wrote. We'll control the ones who fall for that and we'll crush song that sounds the same We'll play a tune to make them dance We'll do it all in Jesus' name